received a system malfunction code on a carrier infinity system, system malfunction 82 thermal lockout 4 hours is there anything I can check or do until I can schedule a technician. Thanks, Chuck. Hello there. I'm Norman but you can call me Norm. Let's see what I can do to get you some answers today. I'm ready to get started whenever you are. A few questions for you first. What is the temperature outside right now? What is the indoor temperature currently? Have you checked and or changed your return air filters lately? Lastly, when is the last time the equipment was cleaned and checked? Outside reading on carrier monitor is 101 and weather service is 86. System is 2.5 years old and serviced this spring with new filter. Can you check the air filters now please? If you can. Spring was a long time ago. Setting has been to cool at 78. A thermal lockout means the compressor has overheated and it does usually take around 4 hours for it to cool back to normal levels. Did you notice if the outdoor condenser fan was running before this failure occurred? Filter looks like a 4-inch X-Flex model and looks okay. Confirmed service was completed February 12, 2012. P.O. did not notice anything on the compressor. Have you noticed the outdoor fan running lately? I have not noticed the fan running, currently system is off. Okay, with a thermal lockout the cause could be one of many things. My professional opinion is to leave the system off for the allotted 4 hour time frame. If the filter is good and the unit has been working fine I would then start it back up after 4 hours. And see if it comes back online as it should. The compressor needs time to cool down before starting so we don't want to push it because we can do damage to it. Let it run this afternoon and call the installing company first thing. Tell them about the thermal lockout. You really want to limit what you do to the system and the items you mess with because the system is still under warranty. Unauthorized work by anyone other than a carrier certified service company can void the remaining warranty. The thermal limit is a switch inside of the compressor that will automatically reset itself when the temperatures are good again. Nothing you can do about that except unwrapping the compressor and pouring water on it. Not something I recommend you doing with it being within warranty. I wouldn't take the risk if I were you. Okay, we'll keep off for 4 to 5 hours and turn back on. Do you know if this is typically a one-time item or recurring? It should not be reoccurring. Be sure you document the temps outside and what the monitor reads so you can give that info to your service company. No reason this should be happening. The Mountaineers should be fun to watch this year. Are you from WV? I'm from small town called Webster Springs. Also document the indoor temperature when it occurred. My wife's family is from Wheeling, West Virginia. They drugged me in years ago. They should be fun to watch this year. Love my ears. I've been following them for about 40 years. Very cool. They are talking big for them this year, I guess we'll see though. Is there anything more I can do for you today my friend? Thanks for your help. Chuck Coker you are very welcome, Mr. Coger. Ratings lower than 3 are negative. I'm very glad I could help you. 
If you ever need help in the future please bookmark my personal link and visit me again. I'd be glad to help. HTTP colon slash www.justanswer.com slash home improvement slash expert it's norm slash. Let's go Mountaineers. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.